Let's check in on the futures markets. It's futures in focus and the dollar posting strong gains. It's at emerging market expense. Let's bring in Brian Battle of Performance Trust Capital Partners at the CME. Checking out the Dixie, we're currently up seven tenths of a cent almost. Haven of choice once again, Brian? I think that's exactly right. You know, this Turkey thing is more of a uh, global policy thing than a Marcus thing. Tur let's just, in context, Turkey's economy is about half the size of Canada and about three quarters the size of Mexico. So it's not that big of an economy, but it's right at the, you know, it's the cornerstone of Europe and North Africa and the Middle East. So it has more geopolitical import than anything else. But you're exactly right. The dollar is rallying on Turkey just in the short term. But longer term, we don't lose sight that it looks like they're trying to slowly but surely devalue the yuan and deconstruct the currency in China to make up for the uh, the tariffs that are imposed. So all, all reasons to buy the dollar. So it goes higher from here. We're currently at 96 spot 135. How high could we go? Where would we test? So that's a... That, <laughs> Wow. That, I, I wish I knew. But what it's going to be a function of <laughs> is the drama elsewhere. But what is for a fact is this is murdering the emerging market economies because they borrowed in U.S. dollars because yeah. nobody will lend them money in their local currency. So all these emerging market economies are having to pay back in U.S. dollars, which gets more and more expensive. On top of which, uh, oil is denominated in dollars. And uh, countries like Turkey are huge oil importers. Mm. India imports a lot of oil. That just makes their current account balance worse. And it just makes the dollar go higher. So big trouble in yeah. the EM. I think that's where that's if you're looking for a disaster, it's going to be in the EM and, and Turkey's probably doubling down on that because they're really just telling the U.S. to go fish. <laughs> Brian, you brought it up. You mentioned oil. Let's talk oil. We're up 1.4 percent across Brent and WTI contracts today. But generally, it's been a down week. Where do you see the, the oil prices going when it comes a push and pull of, of supply versus concerns about Iran? Yeah, so I think we're I think we have a destructive trend in demand for oil here. It's a bear trend in demand for oil because of the uncertainty around the tariff regime. Tariffs are taxes, and the U.S. and China going back and forth raising taxes, including we're gonna we're telling that no one buy Iranian oil, but everybody on the continent will because we won't. So in flux, I think the trend is going to be down for oil because of the increase in the price of the dollar and just nascent. D d demand destruction because of all this look what looks like global synchronous decline in demand because of all our uh, GDP because of all the tariff nonsense that's going on and so there's the thing is we don't have a good policy or a bad policy we're not sure what the policy is so you're going to sell it if you're not sure